So I'll just turn it round so you can see the back plate. Beautiful engraving and the, the pendulum is working through a crutch. You can see the crutch behind the actual pendulum which is then on a spring. So you can see the lever arm here which is, um, has the rack, it's pivoted off this little cock here so that the movement here is reduced to move the spring up and down through the uh, jaws here so that the regulation takes place by moving this up and down. And the suspension spring goes through the jaws, uh, probably designed by Robert Hooke. And the ratio between the distance between the pivot point and to there gives what a three to one reduction in the movement uh, from the rack at this side. And you've got the hold fast point, so that if we want to stop the clock, then we just drop the pendulum into the hold fast point so that it doesn't bang about and uh, damage itself when you move the clock. There I've stopped the clock and put the pendulum in its little hold fast position and now you can see the beautiful engraving in the signature. Thomas Tompion, Londini, fake it. So there's the number stamped on the bottom of the back plate, 215. And if you want to carry it upstairs, there's a little hook at the bottom here to put the pendle on. So I can clip it on there, and then it's locked so it won't swing around as it's moved. Close the case up. I'm always very wary of picking uh, 300 year old clocks by the uh, little handle. It's much safer to grip them on either side, pick them up and then you can turn it back round again. Isn't that a beautiful little clock? Just the sort of thing you like to take to bed with you. <laughs>